Thank you, Chairman. Uh, and I appreciate the opportunity to speak in support of this legislation freezing and halting any more alleviation of the Sanctions Act or the Freezing Hamas Act. This bill makes clear that Congress does not support facilitating the transfer of funds to Iran, a known state sponsor of terrorism, and condemns the terrorist attacks that occurred in Israel and continue to occur. This legislation is a direct response to the recent actions by the Biden administration, specifically the waiver to facilitate the transfer of funds to Iran following the prisoner exchange, which occurred on September 11th, 2023. While we unequivocally support the safe return of American citizens from Iran, the methods employed providing funds to a known state sponsor of terrorism is deeply concerning and has proven counterproductive to our broader security objectives. Iran's ongoing support for terrorist organizations, particularly Hamas and Hezbollah, and its recent involvement in facilitating terror attacks against Israel necessitates a strong and immediate response. By reinstating these critical sanctions, which were unfortunately waived or reduced under previous agreements, we can apply the necessary pressure on the Iranian regime to curb its malign activities. Our action today is not just about reserve, reversing a single decision, but about setting a clear policy stance. We cannot, in good conscience, allow American dollars to bolster the coffers of a regime that consistently undermines peace and stability in the Middle East and poses a direct threat to our allies and interests in the region and around the world. As members of Congress, it is our duty to safeguard our nation's security and uphold our commitments to our allies. The reinstatement of these sanctions through the Freezing Hamas Act is a crucial step in this direction. It sends an unambiguous message to Tehran and the world, the United States will not tolerate or indirectly support terrorist activities, nor will we compromise on our principles in the face of external threats. I urge my fellow committee members to support this bill. I resolve in this matter is critical for the preservation of peace and stability, not just in the Middle East, but globally. Thank you, and I yield, Mr. Chairman.